Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to enable HTTPS in admin console for PowerCenter 9.6. The steps here also work in 9.5.1 and previous version. There is just a little difference uh, that I'm going to comment out later on this video. Okay, so the agenda for the video is uh, first, our current scenario that is a power center domain with HTTP enabled for administrator console. The steps using key to utility in order to create the default.keystar file. I'm going to list the content of this file and also run the update gateway node, uh, info setup update gateway node in order to enable HTTPS port on node meta.xml file. Before you run this command line, you it's a good practice to take a backup of the node meta.xml file. So when you after you install the power center in a box, uh, it's going to ask you uh, this question here when you are creating the domain if you want to enable HTTPS or not. So if you uncheck this box like we can see here in the screen, it's going to create the domain and the HTTP will be used in the power center administrator console. Here I installed the power center under D drive, uh, D drive uh, PC960. This is the power center home directory. So now I, I went to the Java JR, JRE bin. I, I'm going to use this utility key tool. Uh, I'm going to generate a key. I provide an alias, a key algorithm, RSA, key pass. I'm going to use change it. Start pass also I'm going to use change it. You might choose, uh, my, you might use a different one. The key store, I'm going to use the default location info home tomcat conf default key star and the name my host name and the full qualified domain information okay so now i can run it it's done i still need to use the key tool for a self self certificate uh, it's similar to the previous command line and there are just few few difference the alias is going to be the same and the SIG algorithm is going to be a, a different one. MD5 with RSA key pass is the, the same one that I used before I changed it. The, the number of days that going to be valid, 1000 days. The D name is, is the same one as before. And the key store, I'm going to provide the, the same, same one. So just hit enter. It's going to ask about the key store password. I'm going to type change it. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to use the key tool just to list what I have created. Oops, sorry, uh, wrong directory here. Let me ch just change it. Nine six zero. key store password just type it change it okay here it lists what it has been created now I'm going to run the info setup update gateway node to update the node meta.xml file I'm going to use the HTTPS port 8445 uh, the default one is 8443 okay so here's the key file. Okay, command run successfully. Now I'm going to start the Informatica services. So just starting it. So, if 
Informatica service is just started, so I'm going to type localhost 6005, the default ATT, HTTP port. So uh, it should reroute to HTTPS port that I just enabled. Oh, here it goes. HTTPS is enabled, and the port, the one that I use it in the info setup update gateway node. So today you have learned these steps to enable HTTPS in Power Center Administrator Console. If you'd like to get additional information, you can go to our knowledge base and search by this KB article 121092. Your feedback is more than welcome. We would love to hear from you. Get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter. Info support. Thank you.